Hi, welcome back to Derby Dust, uh, how to teach a child how to do a Pinewood Derby car series. This is lesson number two. We're going to go through drilling. We're going to pick the appropriate drill bit. We're going to clamp the block. We're going to go ahead and mark where the drill bit needs to stop. And then we're going to go ahead and drill the drill. Uh, drill the bit. Uh, drill the hole with the drill and we'll get it all done, right? Okay, so let's look at the drill bits we have to choose from. Okay, do you want to use that one? Why not? It's too big. Look at our little block. Okay, so let's put that one aside. This one won't even fit. Yeah, it won't fit. What about that one? It's too long. Yeah, it's too long because we got this little block and our drill would be way up here. Okay, so let's put that one aside. Okay, let's, let's check which one that is. Does that look like it might be right? Well, it looks good, right? I'm going to try the other hole. Let's look at the other hole. It's going to fit, right? Yes or no? No, not this one. Yeah, I think that one will fit. Oh, it'll be It'll be close here, and we want to put as much weight as we can in without it being too small or too big. So I think that one's a good choice. Let's check this one. Is this going to be good? Yeah. It will be. Mm -hmm. I think it's too small. We only put a little bit of weight in there. We want all as much weight as we can, right? Uh, can oh, we can't use that. That's too big. <laughs> yeah, that's too big. Okay, let's put that one aside. Let's check our other one we got. That one might be close, but I think that's just a little too small. Okay. Just a little Try bit. It. And, it. Okay, so yeah. let's use this one. And, we'll, and let's put the other ones aside. Give me those. No, I won't put them aside. Okay, put them right here. Okay. All right. Now come back up. So we're going to go ahead and mark where the the drill bit needs to stop. So I'm just going to use a small thin piece of wood as a spacer, and that's going to keep me from hitting the drill bit onto the the table. Then I'm going to use this sharp, this uh, fine tip marker and I'm going to mark my drill bit. I'm going to just turn it a little bit and we'll mark, we'll mark where it is and you can see you can see the line on there. Okay. Then we're going to use a piece of blue tape and we're going to mark around it and that's going to tell us where we're going to stop so that the drill bit doesn't go through our wooden block. All right? So we don't want a hole where we don't want a hole, right? Yeah. Because the, the weight will fall out. So I just wrap it around, I don't know, three or four times. And it makes a little stopping mark for us. Okay? So now we know where to stop our drill bit. And if we look here, it's right there at the edge. Yes, I see. Where we need. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this I in. in. Alright. We gotta turn it, huh? No, it won't even work. It will. How's that? Is it in there? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So now we have our drill bit in. Now we gotta clamp this down. So you got the clamp? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and clamp it. Okay, I got it. You got it? We want to clamp it with the longer part sticking down so it doesn't get in our way when we're drilling. You got that squeeze tight? Good job. Okay. So you got that squeeze nice and tight. Okay. And this part, because this drill's kind of heavy, I'm going to have to help you. But before we drill, we're going to have to put on our cool safety glasses because safety is cool. Cool. Put them on. Okay, and oh yeah, you're right. I forgot. We gotta mark our hole. So we're gonna use a small little screwdriver, and I'll hold it for you. Okay, and this is to help us start our drill so the drill doesn't move around. So tap it a couple of times. A little harder. All right. So that made a little mark, and let's do it one more time right here. Ooh. All right. Almost lost my fingers. 
Thank you. So we'll put our stuff out of the way. And now, since we got our safety glasses, we're going to go ahead and drill. Okay? I'm going to hold it there, and you're going to... Not yet. We don't need those yet. Okay? I'm going to put it there, and when I tell you to, you're going to start drilling. Okay? Push the button slow. Go ahead. Push it. There you go. Keep going. A little faster. A little more. Yeah, there you go. A little more. Keep going. Push, push. Yeah, make the drill bit go faster. Yeah, that was good. Keep it going. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Push, push harder now. Okay, we got it started so we can go fast. Keep going. Squeeze it. Squeeze hard. Squeeze hard. Okay, let's blow some of that away. Keep, no, keep your glasses on. Blow it away. We're almost there. Okay, so squeeze it again. Keep going. Squeeze, squeeze. Harder. Alright, so we're at our stopping mark, and now we're going to go ahead and pull it out. And depending on the age of your child, will depend on, keep your safety glasses on. See, Dad has his glasses on. Do you to keep your safety glasses on? So depending on the age of the child, will depend on how much you got to help them with this part. Go ahead and squeeze the drill bit. Go ahead and squeeze the drill so we can get that going. A little more. Nice and slow. Okay, now you can go fast. Keep going. You don't want to stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, stop. Let's check. Let's blow something out of the way. Alright. So we're almost there again. Go ahead. A little more, a little more. Stop. Okay. Now push the button so you pull it out. Good job. Okay. So now we're going to unclamp it. And go ahead and tap out any extra. There you go. Don't do that. I don't want you getting any splinters. Okay. So now we have our our holes drilled, huh? What's this and then what's the next what's the next part? What do you think we're gonna do? Now. Now we're gonna cut it out so we can cut our wedge out. Okay. No, we only want to drill on one side because if not, it'll make a hole on the other side and it'll make your, your your weight come out. So this side we keep just plain and we drilled on the other side because you don't want to go through. Okay. Now. We're going to go ahead and do our next step, which is lesson number three, which is cutting out and shaping your Pinewood Derby car. Thank you for watching Derby Dust, how to build a Pinewood Derby car with your child. Is it done?